I'm going to deal with accompanying dependents. So the legal dependent visa, the dependent visa, is a visa to join your heterosexual or same-sex spouse or indeed your Hong Kong resident partners in Hong Kong. So let's cut the ground on that now. So the approval criteria for legal dependency is the immigration department want to say that there's a reasonable proof of a genuine relationship between the applicant and the sponsor. If um, you are claiming family relationship, the immigration department expect to see uh, it apply to unmarried children under the age of 18, dependent parents who are age 60 or over, and legal spouse. Um, legal spouse now being defined as a, a civil partnership duly recognized in the jurisdiction that um, registers those partnerships or uh, a marriage celebrated in the normal way. In terms of the availability of dependent visas for, for elderly dependent parents, you must be a permanent resident of Hong Kong in order to be deemed a suitable sponsor. So if you've got family that are joining uh, a employment visa holder, a business investment visa holder, an elderly parent family. Um, very difficult to expect approval for a dependent visa until and unless the sponsor becomes a permanent resident. And so the test for approval, as I've always uh, couched it, is that you have to, as a sponsor, be able to demonstrate conceptually. You can put a roof over the head of your sponsored dependents and you can put food on their table. So these are the criteria for approval. Application generally is straightforward. The immigration department will call for, especially where the marriage is relatively new, proof of genuine relationship through documents like family photos, other concrete evidence, such as perhaps wills in each other's favour or life insurance policies that are long held on each other or proof of prior cohabitation. Um, Generally speaking, if you're in a loving, committed life partner relationship with someone and you celebrate it by way of a civil partnership or um, through marriage, you create a footprint of your joint lives together. That's the stuff the immigration department are looking for, proof, proof of genuine relation. On the other hand, you've got to be able to put a roof over the head and food on the table. Um, and the big conundrum that generally presents itself is if you're renting accommodation, uh, the cost of the rent versus the value of the ink of the of the salary that's received. Um, the immigration department, once you get to about sort of 60, 40 rent, 60 rent, 40 income balance, you start getting above that, then the immigration department are going to be looking towards, you know, what, what additional savings have you got? Because you've got to be able to demonstrate that um, your sponsored family are not going to be wanting. Um, and typical problem presents itself just where you've got a, a high cost of rent and then the income that the sponsor is earning just doesn't quite, you know, cover what the immigration department, department wants to see as, you know, freely disposable income to be able to fund life beyond uh, near sustenance levels. Um, so that's kind of one red flag just to be aware of. Uh, um, you can't readily argue that your spouse will be working in Hong Kong because they are able to work under a dependent visa Dependent visas come with um, lawful employability status under any configuration. So the sponsor needs to be able to objectively demonstrate that he can fund and support the cost of the dependents in Hong Kong, even though obviously the dependent visa holder will be able to join the workforce with no further questions asked. So you've got to treat them as independent variables. If there's any shortcomings, generally you can make an argument that says, look, we've got this, this amount of savings, that'll sort of, you know, bridge the gap and so on. Those are the main factors to take into account. Um, when you're dealing with elderly parents, as I say, you need to have a um, permanent resident sponsor and you need to demonstrate proof of dependency. And the way that proof of dependency is usually satisfied is that you show to the immigration department as part of the application that you as, as, as sponsor have been sending money to the elderly dependent parent who needs to be a minimum of 60 years of age to qualify in the three months prior to submitting the application. So you can establish proof of dependency that. So that's probably the meat and potatoes of dependent visas, which tend to be pretty straightforward.